What is up everybody? It's your boy Daniel's Vlogs here and guys how are we doing today? I'm hoping you guys are having a good, good day so far. Um, we are getting ready to do our next fort for today. It is Wednesday. So woohoo for Wednesday. Um, and I got my wife right here. She's doing a little bit of cleaning before Hi. we do the fort. And we're just going to do this fort for y'all for like we said we would. And uh, yeah, so here is the living room that we have, y'all. Um, it's not very spacey, but we can just move some stuff around, like move this around, move this around, and then start the fort somewhere like maybe by the TV and make our way out. Or start by the chimney manual and go that way too. We'll have to figure that out. Okay, for, so for some reason my wife is using some scissors. You want to explain to them why we're using some scissors for? Like the old lengths of the box, it'll provide so much more wall to use it to use our box for it, like for structures, like that. Yeah. Um, now, if we want a double, we could easily just keep it um, like use the usual shape, just fold it inward so that it can have like a double leg. Cool. That sounds good. You guys are probably wondering where you getting these four ideas from besides more J Stu. Um, Google has really good fort ideas that we look at to get some ideas. And uh, like, we can literally get some idea on what we want to do, on how we want to make some awesome forts. Uh, so, for example, I'll show you this one. Let me bring it up. But uh, give me a second, it's loading up. Ah, here we go. So basically, sorry, it's taking me a little bit, guys. I'm trying to type it, type it up. Typing one handed is so hard. It is. Okay, so basically, what we're trying to go for, y'all, is kind of a look, kind of like this. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Um, let's see, there we go. So that's on the outside. That someone made, but it is really cool. It's made out of boxes. We're trying to make something like that. Um, some people even make forts like this with tape on top. So there's a lot of cool fort ideas that we get uh, from Google and, of course, from more J. Stu, my boys. Um, and it is really, really cool, y'all. And I'm going to tell you guys right now that this fort that we are making, it's going to look good. Like, we got that ready to go. That's going to be like the back wall. Got my G fill right here. Um, and this is what she's doing. She's just making more, uh, it looks like windows. So it's about to be an awesome fort, y'all. Guys, take a look at this. Like, look how cool this one looks. Like, bro. Like, you got the lights on top, and then whatever this one looks like, popcorn or something. You have, like, a little window right here. That is lit, dude. That is so cool. But, yeah, it's cool to get all these ideas from, like, you know, uh, Google to get the ideas. Because once we get the ideas, it helps us think, oh, yeah, this is what we're going to make with it. And we have some trays and some blankets that we're going to put on top of this fort. And the trays are basically going to help support the fort. So, for example, like this one. Let me see if I can get a better picture of it. Like this one. Start with the mess on the table. This is the living room. So, we got some stuff up there. But there's a, there's a, there's a tray right there. And then there's a tray over here. So, we're just going to use that. Laugh daily. <laughs> but Laugh Daily. Shout out to them too. Laugh Daily Podcast. Hit them up. Watch them. Anyway. They shouted us out. They shouted us out. Now it's your turn to sub to them and tell them I sent you. Alright? Link down in the description down below. Alright? Okay guys, so right here is our door. This is where we come in and in and out at. And we got some tape that we got taped on it. 
and we can just go in and out. We can close this, we can open it, we can do whatever we want with it. We are currently still working on this part of the fort. And as you can tell, I added more walls because we have some walls to it. And then these pieces right here are going to be either for like a roof or like something else. But all these are good. These right here and across, these are all going to be the walls from here all the way across. And they're going to stop right here where that tray is at. So we're going to move these out of the way and we're going to put some tape on that tray right there. And then we are going to be doing that with the wall. And down on the carpet right here, we're going to have like some pillows, some blankets, all that cool stuff. Probably bring up the Nintendo Switch, try it out in the fort. This right here is going to be, uh, I guess we can use this for like another roof or something. We're going, have, we're going to have a roof on it, so we're going to do something with that. So it's coming pretty good. It's coming along pretty good, y'all. And uh, yeah, so it's coming, it's coming along and it's looking really good so far. But yeah. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have the Christmas lights with this one, but we'll see. Alright guys, so the fort is looking really good, guys. Um, and I just want to show you guys our current process, what it looks like now. And we got this door right here, like I told you. Well, you look up, and there we go. You walk over here. It's starting to wrap all around, like I said. But right here, we got where my wife is at. Um, she's doing more layers. And then we're going to start putting things on the top. And this looks really good. It's looking really good. Of course, we got the tray we're going to use. And it's looking really good, guys. And also, um, so where my wife works, there's people that drinks G Fuel. And this is a flavor that I recently purchased, and it's not here yet. It's the new flavor that just came out. And it is Doozy Fruit, okay? So I ordered this the other day, and it's already out for delivery, okay? So I am going to taste test it in this video, and when it gets here, I'm going to unbox it and just show you guys the box. I got the collector's box, so it comes with that awesome golden shaker cup. I had to get the golden shaker cup. But I am going to taste test the doozy fruit in this video, and I'm going to do it right here in the fourth. So, yeah, I can't wait to do it for y'all. Alrighty, y'all, so here we are inside the fort we got it right now. And guys, what is a fort video if I don't add the G Fuel to it, you know, I gotta add the G Fuel to it, and um, I am really excited to try this, this is the Doozy Fruit, um, that my wife got at work yesterday, her friend gave it to her, She's her friend said she didn't like it, but my brother-in-law said it was good, and so did my sister, and of course my wife said it's really good too. It is good. So, um, I am gonna go ahead and take some, and... He hasn't tried it yet. I have not tried it yet, exactly. So... Um, we're well, gonna go ahead and try this. All right, so we we'll pop this open. Obviously, we can pop this open. Put that right down here. Okay, so this is kind of different since I don't got my tray next to me like I do when I do my G Fuel videos. But <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and try this doozy fruit. We're gonna give it a smell. It smells like high C to me. It smells really good. Um, very sweet. I smell a lot, a lot of sweet to it. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and. You know how we do is we put the G Fuel right in the shaker cup. Here we go. Oh yeah. Look at that powder. Alrighty. So the way that it's looking, it's looking good already. I haven't even tasted it yet. Um, or shook it yet. So, and by the way, this is inspired by the one and only FaZe Swag. I believe he's a new uh, FaZe member or something. I don't really know much about him. I just know he's really good phase member mm -hmm. um so we're gonna go ahead and grab this put the top on yes i'm using my flavor fusion cup because obviously it is a uh sour flavor so uh we're gonna use this for my sour flavor video we're gonna shake this that actually looks cool in that cup look how cool this looks with the light coming in like Look how cool that looks like. Dude, like seriously, this looks good in this cup. Still gotta shake it, there's still some powder in the bottom. Um, it seems like it's one of the one of the more powdery ones, so you just gotta shake it, make sure it's you no know, ready to go. No more. Cause it's it's it takes a little bit to, you know. There we go. Awesome. 
All right, so we're ready to go. Pop this open for a good pop. Please let me a good pop. Yes. All right, so we got it popped open. Now we're going to smell it. Still has a high sea smell to it. It smells so good. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to taste this in three, two, one. Let's get it. That is so much like high sea, dude. I told you. Mmm. What the heck? It has a little sour to it, but it's good. Wow. All right, guys, so this flavor is really good. I love the flavor. It tastes good. To me, it's more of a summer drink and, you know, something to have when you're thirsty. Definitely. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, so... It's good, but it's not good enough to make it in the high rankings. Um, I will be getting my own uh, tub of this. Um, we already have our own tub, I don't know what I'm saying, but we're gonna have two tubs of these. And this is good, this is good. My sister and brother-in-law like it, so we might just give them this one. That way they have a doozy fruit and then we will have a doozy fruit. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Now ranking, what do I rate it? And do I want to do I pick it in my weekly or daily rotation? First question: What is my rate on it? It is for me. It's good. I still, per, be honestly, I prefer the flavor fusion over it because the flavor fusion has more of a flavor to it. It's more refreshing. But the doozy fruit, on the other hand, it's like two times more refreshing than the flavor fusion. So my rate on this is going to be eh. 7.9 out of 10. It's good. Um, almost in the eights. Um, my, for like a very good G4, mine has to be eight and up. Um, I think if it's between the 8.9 or 8.5, that's when it's really good. Or just eight flat, it's good. Um, but it's a 7.9 out of 10 for me. It's good. Um, now the next question is, do I drink it in my selection on the daily? Yes, I will drink it. Um, or I will drink it more on my... Uh, rotation for flavors. I do like it. It's very refreshing. It just reminds me of high C. So yeah, it's pretty good. All right, guys. Thank you for watching that. So now we are going to go ahead and continue our awesome fort. Um, before we get into it, I like I said, I got a, another tub of this coming. I got the collector's box. I'm really excited for the collector's box. Um, and I can't wait to get it. We also got Phase X hydration coming. So that's going to be good. I can't wait to try that. Um, I haven't had the G Fuel hydrations in a while. Um, I really didn't like Blue Rocket Pop very much, and that kind of threw me off with like hydration. But I'm willing to give it another shot and try the Phase X and see how that's like. Um, so be on the lookout for that review coming soon. But uh, yeah, back to the fort. Whoosh! All right, guys. So the progress is looking good. It's getting together, uh, and we need to do this like a special box for it. It's a box slash blanket for it, and we're just gonna show you guys what it looks like so far. You guys ready? There's my wife. She we well not her, but well yeah, technically she did it because she's better at the stuff like this than me. She got this long blanket right here. And try and put it around these trays right here, and it's working. We just got to find a way to lift it up, like a like maybe a maybe a a broom or something to lift it up, or get like a chair or something, and we can lift it up and it'll be ready to go. Um, these other boxes that we have that we cannot use are going to be used for another fort video, but this is the progress so far. So we're getting there. Ain't that right? Yeah. Alrighty, y'all. The fort is finished finally after two hours of doing it. It is 5 26 p.m. We started doing <laughs> we started doing this at 3 30. So it's been almost two hours. This is how much we are committed to doing this for y'all. So you guys ready for the grand tour? Alright, cool. So first things first. 
we have the entrance I already showed y'all and you go in through here but before I go inside I just want to show you guys what we built that we built now this is a blanket fort compared with some box forts let me know what you guys think about it um, we decided not to do the Christmas lights this time because obviously there's no no plugins for it that we can find a good place for them but we're gonna start from the outside so this fort actually has two entrances you have this and then you can just come on the couch and go underneath right over here. Now, the back is like a wall. This right here is the wall that I showed you guys earlier. And we got this whole section blocked off, right, For because that's our little fort area. Now, the blanket. All right, so we put this blanket together, and we got connected to these boxes right here. We got this box connected with it, with the back clips, this back clips. And then over here, we have that. And this stone thing that, that's like a decor, decoration for our, our table over here. Um, we have that to hold it. And guys, I'll tell you, putting these like blankets, this blanket on this fort was stressful. Guys, they would keep falling off and we just had to find something that would help it out. So we thought, okay, that'll work. Now, we are going to go ahead and go inside through this way. I'm coming in. Alrighty. There is my wife. Hi. Right there. We're coming through here. We crawl through this little space. There we go. Alrighty. So, yeah, we're in here. I'm going further. Alright. There we go. And then I'm going to sit over here. Because it's up higher here. Guys, this is the inside of the fort. It's a lot bigger. Um. I could probably go further over there because there's more intro over there. Mm -hmm. um, so, Hi. we're still kind of squeezed in with a blanket, but over here we have this right here that goes out that way. There's and, a little bit of open area where you can stand up if you need to. Yep. <coughs> but yeah, this is the t inside of it. Looks really cool. Uh, it's a lot more spacious than the last one we made. Um, as you guys know, I'm a tall guy, so it's going to be short with me either way, so I have to get, like, higher stuff to make it look, you know, higher. But I'm going to give the camera to my wife so she can show you guys the other side. Here you go. All right. All right. So on this side, it, there is a TV tray to hold that up. There is a, um, a box right there to hold for the siding. You see all that. That is all the walling. There's another TV tray under the chair. There is Daniel. And then when I come over here, here is the other side of the fort. Uh, and there's a little thing. Uh-huh. And we can just stand and walk over here if we need to go over here on this way. We can come, come over here, walk over there. And I think that's it. Yeah, hey, what's up? <laughs> there you go. Move my finger in the way. But yeah, that's where I came in at, y'all, over here. It's very creative. It's a lot better than the other fort. You know, we got more space than the other one. Because, you know, as you guys know, the other one was our very first fort that we made. But this one, this one is so big that we had to go all out with it. Um, so we basically used, like she said, we used this chair right here to hold the top because it's one of the tall chairs we got so this is what we use and it's really really cool it's a good we did good with it didn't we yep so yeah <laughs> but uh yeah guys so the fort is cool um but like i said what's a fort without g fuel and snacks uh -huh. we don't got our snacks with us right now we just want to get this fort started and just try to get it done but um, yeah, um, I am really excited that we got this fort up and running. It's a lot of space. Me and her, I can actually see her better. So we're not like squeezed in or whatever. And this can hold up to like four or five people. So it's that's how big it is. And <laughs> um, we are sorry, that was me. <laughs> we're over here just hanging out. Um, but uh yeah it was it was a good fort yes it was what do you rate this fort better than the last one yes definitely what? i'd say 10 out of 10. give it 10 out of 10 i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. um a 10 out of 10 is a perfect fort it's not perfect we got more to forts ideas but we I got where it was safe some of our boxes behind us that we got then we got some more boxes over there 
So yeah, we, we were able to save our boxes and I am super stoked to have them. I'm probably going to put them in a storage bin or something, these other boxes, because uh, we're going to be using more of them for more forts. Alright guys, so I'm outside the fort and that's what it looks like from the, this angle. We're outside from underneath the blanket. This is like the sun area if you want some sun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look so weird. Yes, you do. But uh, yeah, she is right. The sunlight is right here in this window. We are losing daylight because it's getting later in the day. But guys, not this Sunday, but next Sunday we spring forward. We're going to have longer daylight. I'm really excited for that. Um, we're going to have longer days coming back soon. And I'm really excited. That's plenty of time to make more videos and more forts for y'all. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make a fort next week because we got to come up with more ideas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're going to come up with some fort ideas. We might just take next Wednesday and just do like maybe a vlog or something. We haven't decided yet. Um, this is what I look like when I'm underneath the fort. <laughs> can't really see her. <laughs> you just, all you see is like a head bobbing up and down. Just imagine if someone was to um, come up and be like, what is that? Right. <laughs> but one of the things that we want to do is we definitely want to do more forts for y'all, but we just got to come up with some ideas. Um, we basically got this house that helps us out with forts. We can do more downstairs. We can do one in the garage. We can do one back up here. We also can do one outside if we wanted to. So we got a lot of choices that we want to do, but we're, like I said, we're probably going to take next Wednesday and do a vlog next week and not do a fort um, because we got to get more boxes. We got to get more stuff for the fort. And we basically ran out of tape for making this whole fort. So we got to get some more tape. But this fort has been awesome. We had a great time with it. I like it. It's awesome from this angle. It's a good um, hangout. It's a good hangout, that's for sure. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had fun with this fort. So did she. Um, and guys, let me know what you think about this fort. It's very spacious. Three or four people can fit in here. It's that big. Um, we might keep it up for a little bit. That's just show my <laughs> to show my sister and my brother-in-law when they get home. But uh, we'll see. If not, oh well. I'll just take a picture of it and just show them like that. But anyway, other than that, guys, you guys have a great day. Thank you again so much for watching. We had a great time this for it. Yeah. And uh, we are going to be just, like I said, uh, next week we will be probably just doing a vlog. It all depends what happens next week. But yeah, you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.